and welcome back to Barclay Cards Share the Stage, our unique series where we keep you entertained as festival headliners share the spotlight with support acts who have lost their summer of live music. With live gigs still on hold, we want to make sure you stay entertained. So Barclay Card has provided front row seats for exciting new performances. So please sit back and soak up the sounds as we celebrate and support the importance of music in all of our lives. Once again, broadcasting from Abbey Road Studios, we have an incredible show for you today. We have the pop talents of Mabel, the heartfelt soul of Mae Muller, and explosive energy of Noisy. First up, we welcome an effortless storyteller with the instinctive gift of melody far beyond her 22 years. She's gone from playing intimate shows to stadiums, selling out her own dates around the world, accumulating two million single sales in the UK and over half a billion global streams in the process. Wow. So, keeping the Share the Stage support going for up-and-coming acts, we get our headliners to cover a support act song. First up, and what a treat, covering Mae Muller's hoodie song, sit back and enjoy the pop mastery of Mabel. You say you want to come over to my place Just the thought of you in my bedroom It increases my heart rate No, I ain't doing this for my amusement You know I want you I got the playlist on me with them draw three songs and all the rest, yeah. No, I don't want to cause any confusion. You know I want you. You know I want you. But I'm doing nothing today. I'm wearing your hoodie all day, yeah. You can pick it up when you get here. But I'm doing nothing today. I'm wearing your boxes all day. So calm, so cool, collected. Stop running, boy. I know it's hard to breathe under, under that, that tracksuit. Track and I can't try and hide it. I know you feel it. Please don't fight it, my love. This can be our first date I need you now, don't make me wait No But I'm doing nothing today I'm wearing your hoodie all day yeah. You can pick it up when you get here But I'm doing nothing today I'm wearing your boxes all day yeah. You can take them off when you get here here, here. Hey Mabel. Hi. How was it to be out and about, out of the house, doing your thing at Abbey Road Studios? I mean, it feels incredible to be here. Performing here is always such a pleasure. Strange, but lovely to be out of the house. A lovely strange, I think sums it up <laughs> so perfectly. How has this year been for you? How has it affected you creatively? Has it hindered you or has there been a, sort of an expansion with that time and space that you've had? It's been good for me. I think I needed time to sort of reconnect to my creativity and the space and time has really given me that, you know, being able to figure out how I want to tell a story again through an album or through another body of work and just really having time to be with my thoughts. Like I write my songs, they're all about real experiences and it's been like a time to process. And how's it been connecting with your fans throughout this time? Obviously it's solely virtual at the moment without yes. the live arena being there. Yes. How have you found that? 
I mean, we always have a very strong connection on social media. Like my fans are the best. They're crazy in the best possible way. And like there's little group chats and I do like check in on them and like they're very supportive. I actually had a little social media break and they were very like understanding of that. Um, and just like I've done some performances from home as well that have been really fun for me to be able to like rethink like how do you make a pop record that's like huge like sounding sonically to take it to being stripped and mm. ended up making a whole project and like my fans are so happy and excited about that and like I feel like yeah the space has definitely given me time to sort of like reconnect with them. Um, at Share the Stage you performed the Hoodie song, why did you pick that track? I know May. I've known her for a long time. We have mutual friends and love the way that she tells stories to be honest with you. She has like such an amazing yeah voice but also just like the lyrically the way she writes I just I love the sassiness. She's amazing. She really we is. We love May. How important do you think it is to support emerging talent at the moment? It's so incredibly important. I mean, I have been an emerging artist and it definitely, you know, has its challenging moments. So, you know, it's really important that we support each other. You know, you could be in one place and then a year later, just that's how my career was. You know, it took off so quick, but that is, you know, because I had support from so many different people. Mabel, thank you so much for being here today. What a pleasure and so lovely to talk to you. Lovely to talk to you, Fern. Thanks, Mabel. What an honour to have you on the show. Stay tuned for her phenomenal show-closing performance a bit later on. But first, we have a performance from an incredibly talented band. Frontman Cody, guitarist Connor and producer Spencer spent years hanging out at skate parks and sharing musical influences. For the last 18 months, they've built a makeshift studio in Spencer's house to write and develop their sound. And that appears to be working very well. Here to cement their high-octane energy in your minds, it's noisy. Yeah. Open my eyes when the moon falls. Just woke from a bad dream. Haze around us in the sunbeam. Stack it to the stairs in an emergency. I just don't feel myself. What did I ever do wrong? Didn't even drink last night, no, no. Step right through, so I'm back confused, and I gotta do good today. Where's my head? The right over, there's my bed. It's calling me back, but I'm ready. I said, so I'll walk over and I'll, I'll put a record on. Put a record on. And when I hear that song, get the feeling on. Put a record on. Because when I don't feel okay, cue the mood, I go press play. And put a record on. Now there's nothing wrong. Every day I'm up and down two bars. Put a space on an Uber. Pass of my friends, but the wrong way round. Can I get what sooner? But is it like that? Cause when I get a tune, I like that. And when I catch a mood, I forget things and I slide back to a bad place in a mindset. It's like ecstasy, ecstasy. Come sit next to me, next to me. Nowhere I'd rather be. Can't you see that I'm feeling free? I'll put a record on, put a record on. And when I hear that song, get the feeling on. Because when I don't feel okay, cue the mood, I go press play and put a record on. Now there's no
Noisy? Hey. hey. All good? Yeah, yeah. great. Amazing. Thank you. Amazing performance. And that you can tick off the life list that you have performed at Abbey Road Studios. That must be a jolly good feeling. Yeah, it's unbelievable like to be invited to such an iconic studio, you know, so... Yeah, we're all gassed. I mean, it's been a really weird year. So much uncertainty. No one knows what's going on. How have you held up? How are you feeling? Yeah, really good, actually. We've been um, kind of we're trying to write over FaceTime and stuff, and it's not really been working. But, uh, you know, we, we've, been <laughs> we're, yeah, we've, been, we've been getting it done. Like, But, I mean, it's obviously just better being in a room together and writing and playing shows. But, you know, everyone's in the same boat, so we've all got to adapt. Has it changed in any way how you think about, you know, your music? Obviously, the writing process has been yeah. hindered slightly, but has it, has it changed your direction of where you want to head as artists? We just want it so much more. Mm. As soon as you get something taken away from you, a little bit, you're like, oh, mate. Yeah, I feel like we've always had like quite a strong vision. We just, yeah, as I say, we just want it even more now. You know, it's been taken away a little bit, so it's like, oh, let's keep just going in that direction and, you know, put everything we've got into it. Thank you so much for being here. We're totally excited about what you do next as well. So keep doing it. Good luck and thank you for being here today, Noisy. Thank, yeah, you, thank very you very much. much. Cheers. 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 A great band, Noisy Art, a rare and truthful talent with a very bright future ahead. Now, next up, you're in for an absolute audible treat. Unapologetic, self-assured and fiercely independent. She's a pop sensation in the making and an emerging female artist to watch out for this year. With global streams that have already surpassed 53 million and a unique sound and style that is so very much her own. She's here to cement herself as a spokeswoman of this generation. This is Mae Muller. You don't bring home roses, you just bring home stress. You never say I look good when I'm looking my best. And if we're staying up all night, it's cause you're moaning and not the good kind. I want you to be happy, but not at my expense. The more I listen and I listen, the more I'm thinking. You don't need a girlfriend, you just need a therapist. You got so much drama, I'm not qualified to fix. I will hold your body, but you want somebody that will hold you Together, you don't need a girlfriend. Truth is, I wanna make you feel good and put your mind at ease. But I'm just way poor out the negativity. I'll get you excited, I've tried and tried it, but it's so one sided, and I'm getting tired fighting for somebody who ain't fighting for me. You need a therapist You need a therapist and if I spend all my time and my energy Taking care of you, gonna take care of me Spend all my time and my energy on you On you And if I spend all my time and my energy Taking care of you, you're gonna take care of me Spend all my time and my energy on you May, you just performed at Abbey Road Studios. I know. How wild is that? Wild. That's did it right. feel wild? Did it, it feel did. exciting? Especially because I've like, no one's left the house, and then it's like, you're going to Abbey Road. So I, I was like, 
Sign me up, let's go. What um, an introduction to civilization again. I know, I'm feeling very hashtag blessed, feeling good. Yes. Um, you know, what an iconic room and just knowing that like some of the greats have been, we're breathing the same air as David Bowie right now. I That's know. how I see it. I know. And was it nice just to perform? Because I imagine there's been an absence of that for you to it, some extent. It was really, really nice just to be with the band again. Yeah. Just putting in in-ears, I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just felt so good. Yeah, because that's such a huge part, of course, of being an artist, but being a new artist as well, being emerging yeah. talent and losing out on, on festivals and gigs. How has that affected you? I was meant to be playing Reading in Leeds this year, which was kind of like my first kind of big festival. So I was really excited, but you kind of have to be positive. There's obviously a lot worse going on in the world. So I'm just trying to be like, it'll happen just next year. It's kind of relit that love as well. I'm just so excited to get back on stage now. I'm trying to see it as a good thing. And also, you know, that's what this is all about. Share the Stage is about supporting emerging talent. And, and I guess we are all finding new ways of connecting with people. Have you found it you know, a nice way to connect with fans performing in a virtual setting. Yeah, it is really nice. And I think obviously the same way like me or, or you aren't used to doing things like that. The fans aren't used to like consuming things yeah. like that. It's just a different way. And I focus on writing. I don't really do a lot else. Like I'm not a producer really. So then having to suddenly do everything on my own, it was like, yeah, you've got to uh, produce these vocals, record these vocals, uh, film a music video, which I did also. A wonderful thing that happened as part of Share the Stage is Mabel covering one of your tracks. No, let's not. I'm literally just like, ah. let's unpick that. When How'd I found feel? out that was happening, I was like, I was like, no. And I just yeah. think that song, the hoodie song is just so perfect for her it is. as well. So when I found out that she chose that song, I was just like, this is amazing. And she's just an icon. And it was just really nice to, to see somebody kind of respect your work enough to want to perform it. It was such a such an honor. So much good stuff to come. And thank you so much for performing today. Thanks and for chatting. having me. What a show so far. It really is an exciting time for British music at the moment. And it's great to be here, giving you exclusive access to the stars of the future. And now back to one of the stars of today and our headliner. With a Barclay card, share the stage, exclusive performance of her track, Trouble. Please welcome back Mabel to close out the show. I've been Fern Cotton and I'll see you next time on Barclay card, share the stage. See ya. Make me feel good, you make me feel good. You make me do things that I never would. No question how you're feeling cause it's understood. Really want it, really want it, really want it. Put your body on it Show you things that nobody's ever shown So take a little hit cause it's out of bone And I could change your life for the better though Think about it, think about it, think about how good you got it So hold me close There's no fire without smoke Yeah, I keep looking for trouble Yeah, I keep looking for you Cause I can get you out of my head I know instead I should have Stayed at home, but I keep looking for trouble. And I'll get everything I need to as I please. Living dangerously, living dangerously. I keep looking for trouble, trouble, trouble. Washing all over, washing all over, washing all over my body. I'm a miracle. I'm so out of control. So hold me close. There's no fire without smoke. Yeah, I keep looking for trouble. Yeah, I keep looking for you, cause I can't get you out of my head. I know instead I should have.
I should've stayed at home. Yeah, I came looking for trouble. 